For the third year running, Mahindra at its August 15 gathering had some major announcements. The first is of course that they showcased a Thar E concept and the second is that they showcased a Scorpio N based global pickup truck that will be launched sometime in 2026. But that's not all. They also announced a slew of updates in their EV journey and of course a special surprise which we'll tell you right at the end of this video so stay tuned for that. Are you enjoying the content on our channel? Then do show us some love by hitting those like, share and subscribe buttons and also hitting that bell icon to be notified the instant we put out a new video. Mahindra's most iconic brand name in its lineup has now entered the electric age in the form of the Thari. Showcased as a 5-door concept and underpinned by Mahindra's new uh, Inglow skateboard platform, it is the second of their legacy brands to enter the electric age. The exterior design showcases a digital age interpretation of the Thar shape with highlights like a vertical 3 slat grille, squircle headlamps and tail lamps, chunky wheels and interchangeable bumpers. Nearly every component in the car is interchangeable and that's one of the things that Mahindra is going for with this concept car in addition to using recycled and sustainable materials. In addition to the overall design, Mahindra has also added little styling bits like the front and rear orange tow hooks, extra slim ORVMs and flared wheel arches for that proper boxy SUV stance. One of the things that you will notice is that this is a 5-door vehicle indicating that in production guys it will come both as a 3-door and 5-door model. Design sketches of the Thar E reveal a digital age transformation of the current Thar's modular and blocky layout. You can see dual digital displays and steering mounted controls as a part of the deal. Mahindra has said that in production, guys, the components of the cabin are removable and can be hosed down for cleaning up. Mahindra has not revealed any details about the powertrain of the Thari, but our money is on whatever will come with the BE05 Coupe SUV. It will of course get all-wheel drive courtesy of uh, multiple motors on both axles. Mahindra has not revealed a launch date for this vehicle and this was a surprise entrant into their electric lineup. But we expect to launch around mid-2026. From concept car, we now move to something that's closer to production. Yes, we're talking about the global pickup concept that was unveiled at the South Africa event. It is essentially the third generation for the Scorpio pickup truck and this time it's based on the Scorpio N SUV. Exterior design highlights include a new grille, new headlamps and muscular design for the bonnet, violent profile view, you can see the extended length of the vehicle over its SUV sibling. You get heavily flared wheel arches and a very nice looking diamond cut alloy wheel design which we suspect will make it to the final version of the car. As has been the case with the last two generations, this one also gets a large Mahindra logo emblazoned on the rear door. Official images reveal that the interior is very similar to that of the Scorpio N, right down to the layout, color scheme and even the feature list. Now in terms of ADAS, you get features like adaptive cruise control, drowsiness alert, high beam assist, traffic sign recognition and automatic emergency braking. By the time this car is launched, we also expect Mahindra to offer some form of autonomous driving system as a part of the ADAS package. Officially, the pickup truck will be offered with Mahindra's 2.2 litre diesel, which in four wheel drive guys produces 172 bhp and 400 nm of torque and can be had either with a six speed manual or a six speed automatic. The truck will be underpinned by a new generation ladder on frame platform when it is launched in 2026. Unlike the previous generations of the Scorpio pickup trucks that sold in very small numbers in India, this one will get its own series as India is now mature enough to accept lifestyle products. We expect a pricing in the range of Rs 12 lakh to Rs 22 lakh and it is expected to be a much more low cost alternative to vehicles like the Toyota Hilux, Isuzu D-Max V-Cross and future vehicles from Tata. While the Thar E and the Scorpio pickup uh, stole the limelight, Mahindra did make a few strategic EV announcements. The first and most important one uh, in this line of EV announcements is that Mahindra will bring in an electric version of the Scorpio called the Scorpio E and an electric version of the Bolero called the Bolero E. They are expected to be underpinned by Mahindra's Inglow platform which it will share with the Thar E 
and while there's no official launch date, we expect something after 2026. Mahindra has revealed three new electric motors with outputs in the range of 80 kW to 210 kW and torque figures in the range of 135 Nm to 535 Nm. Mahindra also showcased a new infotainment system with three displays, each of 12.3 inches, sitting across the dashboard. These are expected to be all-in-one systems and will be the interface for the vehicle. These displays will run Mahindra's latest infotainment system and connected car technology and also be mated to a custom-developed 16-speaker Harman Kardon sound system with Dolby Atmos. What's more, Mahindra has entered into collaboration with music legend A.R. Rahman to develop its new EV-specific sounds, including a new EV theme that was played at the event. The final new tech bit that Mahindra unveiled was a new heads-up display. This is the first time that we have heard of Mahindra working on this tech and they will bring augmented driver assistance systems and vehicle alerts, augmented navigation, as well as media and phone information into the HUD. Okay, so that's all from us here at Carwale. What do you think of the Thar E, the pickup and the EV announcements? Do let us know in the comment section. Hey Venki, you missed out on the surprise bit. Aha! So, the surprise that we're bringing for you here today is that Mahindra showed off the production-ready version of the BE05. It was an off-camera event, but we did get to preview the car and here's what we saw. The images released by the automaker indicated a 5-seat layout with an all-black cabin with silver inserts. The car gets a full glass roof, high stance and nearly 90-degree opening doors. It's also expected to get level 2 ADAS, connected car technology and of course a whole sound catalogue developed by A.R. Rahman. Most importantly, the BE05 will be Mahindra's answer to cars like uh, the Tata Curve EV as well as future EVs from Hyundai, Kia, MG, Honda and Toyota. The BE05 will be the first Mahindra to sport its new electric specific logo and will be launched in India in October 2025. Well, that's it from us and we actually are going this time. If you've liked this video, then do check out our uh, video on the global pickup concept as well as the EV showcase that Mahindra had at its UK event in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.